Today is the day I will finally end the Blue Whale versus Megalodon debate. For this, we will at first take a closer look at the animals, their behavior, their strengths, and their weaknesses, and then we will determine a winner. At first, let's take a closer look at the blue whale. The blue whale is the biggest animal in Earth's history. Blue whales can grow to a length of more than 35 meters and weigh over 200 tons. Some individuals might even reach more than 300 tons. Despite their large size, blue whales are very agile and fast swimmers. Blue whales feed on krill and other tiny organisms. Its opponent, Otodus megalodon, is the biggest shark to have ever existed. At a length of more than 20 meters and a weight of more than 100 tons, it's one of the biggest macro predators to ever exist. Megalodon was likely an apex predator of its time. This giant shark hunted whales, marine sloths, fish, and seals. Now onto the first category, size. Both animals are giants, but the blue whale is the giant among giants and easily takes this category. On average, blue whales are about 24 to 27 meters long and weigh 110 to 130 tons. The biggest blue whales are over 35 meters long and weigh more than 200 tons. Meanwhile, the average megalodon was 16 meters long and weighed about 60 tons. The largest individuals might have reached 24 meters in length and a weight of 164 tons. Now let's go to the next category, strength. Both animals are very strong, but due to the size difference, the blue whale takes it easily. The winner of the next category might surprise you. Speed. The estimated top speed of Megalodon is 37 kilometers per hour in short bursts. Meanwhile, the top speed of the blue whale is about 58 kilometers per hour, and blue whales can hold their speed over long periods of time. The next category, agility, is actually a very close one. Whales are very agile, and blue whales are extremely agile for their size. Meanwhile, the megalodon has a cartilage skeleton. Cartilage is more flexible than bone, but not by much. And with the overall body shape, megalodon has the better turning radius. But overall, the blue whale is more maneuverable and faster. The blue whale tax durability. Not only is it bigger than the megalodon, it also has over 30 centimeters of blubber and an actual bony skeleton. The megalodon only has a cartilage skeleton and denticles to protect itself. Overall, the blue whale easily takes this category. Now on to the next category, endurance and stamina. The whale easily takes stamina and endurance is very debatable, but overall the whale should take it. Now let's take a closer look at their weapons. The megalodon has giant 20 centimeter long teeth and a bite force of 208 kilo newtons. The blue whale can hit with its gigantic tail or ram its opponent at high speeds. If they fight close to the water's surface, the blue whale could also jump on its opponent. Intelligence. The whale easily takes this category due to its larger and more complex brain. Experience. Megalodon likely fought with other megalodons and macroraptorial sperm whales. Meanwhile, blue whales sometimes fight with other blue whales and orcas. Overall, I would say this is a tie. The blue whale wins. Its superior size, strength, speed, and agility are just too much for the megalodon. The megalodon also lacks the weaponry and experience to kill the whale. If you want more videos like this in the future, hit the like and the subscribe button and leave a comment with your opinion.